All right, welcome back. Today, we are embarking on a journey that is statistically likely to end in disappointment. We are attempting to create Grand Theft Auto 6. You know, the game that has taken Rockstar a decade to make? We're going to try to do it in about 10 minutes using three chatbots, because why not? We have our contestants. In the red corner, we have Gemini, specifically the Gemini 3 Pro, a model name that sounds like an electric razor. In the blue corner, Grok, rocking version 4.1, presumably programmed by a colony of Martians. And finally, Claude, running Sonnet 4.5 a model named after love poetry, which is exactly the vibe we want for a game about drive-by shootings. Here are the rules. I'm going to give them a simple prompt. Each AI gets five attempts, five prompts to go from empty text file to Vice City. Whatever garbage they produce after prompt five, that's the final product. We grade them on a curve, a steep, unforgiving curve. Let's start with the ask. It's simple. Create GTA 6 from scratch. 3D open world. Do your research. HTML. I'm basically asking for a miracle in a text box. Let's fire them all up and watch the magic, or the lack thereof. And run. Let's see what Grok has cooked up. It says generating. It says preview. Okay, so Grok has given us a black screen. It has graciously provided us with a UI. We have health, we have a wanted level, we have a location, but we are currently role-playing as a blind person in Vice City. I can see the idea of a game, but the photons are missing. It's a text adventure for people who hate reading. Let's try to run it locally. Maybe the browser is just shy. Nope, still black. It's a void, it's deep space. It's the inside of a powered off monitor. Grok has successfully simulated the experience of waiting for the console to turn on. Zero out of 10. Let's move to Gemini. Surely the Google powerhouse can render a polygon. Okay, Grand Theft Auto 6, Leonida prototype. The name sounds fancy, I hit enter. Enter Vice City. Okay, pressing the button. And we're back in the void. I have a mini map. That's an upgrade. I can see where I would be if I existed. I see Vice Beach. I see a dollar amount. I'm rich, invisible, and floating in an abyss. This is less GTA and more Existential Crisis Simulator 2025. Claude, the Sonic model. Let's go. It's thinking. It's coding. It's immediate error, uncaught exception. Claude didn't even try to hide it. It just threw up on the carpet and walked away. Tree capsule geometry is not a constructor. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like Claude failed geometry class. So round one, we have two black screens and a crash. The future of AI development is looking bright. Back to the drawing board. I'm going to gently tell them they failed, to Grok. I see text, but the screen is black. Fix it, to Gemini. I see a map, but the screen is black. Fix it. To Claude, you broke immediately. Please stop breaking. Let's check on Grok. Grok says it fixed it. Grok is a liar. We are still staring at the exact same black screen. It added more code to give me the same nothingness. It's actually impressive how committed it is to this noir aesthetic. Now Gemini, Gemini, instead of fixing the code, has decided to show me a YouTube video about GTA 6 features. I asked you to make the game, not sending me a link to a reaction video. This is the AI equivalent of saying, I don't know, look it up yourself. Thanks, Gemini. Very helpful. We are moving to prompt three. I am losing patience. I'm telling them to review the code, find the issue, and actually render a 3D world. I want to see a character. I want to see ground. I want to see something that isn't hex code. Wait, Claude. Claude did something. Okay, we have graphics. We have... Well, we have cubes. I am a pink cylinder. The car is a red brick. The city looks like it was built by a toddler with Lego blocks. But it works. I'm moving. I can switch characters. I am now Jason the Cylinder. This is amazing. The controls are absolutely busted. The camera isn't following me. It's just sort of vaguely panning around the body like a drunk cameraman. How do I get in the car? Enter. I stole the car. I'm driving. I'm drifting. I feel like I'm in a fever dream version of Miami. The neon lights are nice, I'll give it that. Let's check in on Gemini. We're in Vice Beach, baby. We have a UI. We have a character. Another pink cylinder. Apparently AI thinks humans are just sausages. But this, this is starting to feel like GTA 6. The lights, the cars, the freedom. We have 99 problems, but a beach. Wait, where's the beaches? Vice Beach with no beaches? That's odd. Overall, this is good, but not perfect. I just drove straight through a building. Physics is merely a suggestion in Gemini's world. Back to Grok. 100% guaranteed working. That is what the AI wrote. Tested right now in Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari. It is mocking me. It says, if you copy and paste this exact file, you will see a bright blue sky. It is black. 
Grok is currently gaslighting me on a level I didn't think was possible for a language model. It swears on its motherboard that this works. It does not work. It's telling me, you're holding it wrong. Grok is basically Apple customer support right now. I'm angry at Grok. I'm telling it, use Babylon JS instead. Stop failing. To Gemini, add NPCs, add shooting, make it chaotic. To Claude, I can't aim. Fix the controls. Add more violence. Grok finally pivoted. Let's see. Okay, we have a green floor, we have a blue sky, we have a red brick. I cannot move. I cannot look around. I am paralyzed in a field of green. It's a playable game in the sense that the screen is no longer black, but playing implies interaction. I am effectively a scarecrow in the Windows XP wallpaper. Grok, you are trying, but you are failing spectacularly. Gemini is loading prompt 4. Whoa, nothing has changed and I'm still a floating trash can. I just walked through a wall again. Collision detection is still non-existent. The city is still empty with no other lipstick looking trash cans in sight. It's impressive, but my computer sounds like a jet engine taking off. Gemini is optimizing this code by simply demanding 100% of my GPU. Claude prompt 4. Visual polish. Okay Claude, okay. Look at this UI. We have distinct police units. They are blue cylinders. We have civilians, various colored cylinders. I have a shotgun. This feels surprisingly responsive. I mean, I'm shooting geometrical shapes, but the feedback loop is there. I just robbed a civilian. He dropped cash. The cops are swarming me. I'm taking damage. My health bar is actually going down. This is surprisingly complex logic. It has a wanted system, an economy, combat, and death states. Claude understands the assignment, chaos. This is it. Prompt five, the final polish. The make it GTA 6 prompt. I'm telling them all. Finalize it. Fix the bugs. Add the juice. Gemini, what is happening? The screen is red. My computer just froze. Gemini decided that if it can't make GTA 6, it will simply destroy the hardware running it. I think the screen recording, plus the three AI models, plus Gemini's unoptimized spaghetti code just murdered my browser. Okay, we're back. Let's look at the result. We have Grand Theft Auto 6, Leonida Prototype. It's working. I am still Poppy Trashcan from Vice Beach. Put some respect on my name. I'm shooting. I can see muzzle flashes. But the lag, oh, the lag. It's running at roughly three frames per minute. I have two stars. I see a police car. It's just a blue brick sliding on the floor. I'm trying to drive. The car controls are non-existent. It drifts eternally. Gemini made a tech demo that looks cool in a screenshot but feels like playing a game through a telegraph machine. And finally, Claude's masterpiece. Prompt 5. Vice City 2026. Look at the lighting. Look at the neon. I can pan the camera. I can switch weapons. Pistol, SMG, shotgun. I just picked up an SMG. I'm spraying into a crowd of cylinders. Store robbed, $2,500. I have four stars. The FBI is here, black cylinders. I enter a vehicle. It says vehicle stolen. I can drive. The physics actually have weight. I can drift around corners without clipping through the geometry. I'm doing a drive-by shooting. This is genuinely playable. It's ugly, sure. It looks like an Atari game reimagined for VR, but the systems are there. Oh, I just got wasted. Respawned at the hospital. It even has a respawn loop. So, let's recap this absolute train wreck. Grok. Grok spent three prompts giving me a black screen, lied to me about it working, and ended up giving me a green screen where I couldn't move. Grok is that developer who says, it works on my machine, and then ghosts you. Score, 110 for the nice blue sky. Gemini. Gemini tried. It really did. It gave us a city. It gave us a car. But it also gave us zero collision, impossible controls, and code so heavy it tried to melt my CPU. It's the Cyberpunk 2077 at launch of AI models. Ambitious, broken, and likely to crash your system. Score, 510 for the effort. Claude. Claude started with a crash, but by the end... We have a functioning open world crime simulator. We have economy, police AI, weapon switching, and vehicle physics. It's basically GTA 1 but in 3D and made of sausages. Claude is the clear winner here. It actually understood the assignment and delivered a game loop. Score 810 for a chatbot. If you enjoyed watching me suffer through code errors and staring at black screens so you don't have to, hit that like button. Which one was your favorite? The green void of Grok? The laggy cylinder of Gemini? or the murderous sausages of Claude? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna go restart my computer before it catches fire.